Generally, we can say the earth is made of three layers, major layers, we should say, uh, core, mantle, and uh, cross or lithosphere. The mantle of the earth can convect. It is hot, and the heat rising from the core can actually cause that. And this convection cause a splitting and exp extension of the lithosphere or the earth crust. And this uh, extension creates cracks, which we'll call faults, and through these faults or cracks, magma can rise and create volcanism. The magma that is formed at the base of the lithosphere on top of the uh, earth uh, mantle. In Iceland, Reykjanes Peninsula, we have such a situation. Earthquakes exist. Up to now, for the past few weeks, the earthquakes have slowed down in that area. And uh, that may mean, in a way, the magma is not able to rise. It's a non-Newtonian fluid and is not able, if it is not shaken, to rise or move. It's like ketchup, in a way. You have to shake the ketchup to make it run. <clears throat> Our GPS data shows something interesting also, and that is the slowing down of the rise of the land. This is the GPS data measuring the distance between the uh, ground, zero ground, and the satellites. And all of the areas that we have shows a decline in the GPS data. One way of interpreting this is that the magma accumulation itself has actually slowed down. And this is what the University of Iceland and Icelandic Meteorological Office show in their data are presented to you. And this may truly mean the ground is not rising as fast as it used to be because the magma is not coming to accumulate there. Another way of seeing it is that the solar flares, the solar wind, the light of the sun, and the charged particle from the sun actually are changing the position of the satellites, GPS satellites. We measure the distance between themselves and the ground in the Iceland. That can also create such a disturbance. We see the disturbance due to that. As the aurora in the orbit, it can push the satellite back and decrease the uh, amount of the distance that they show. And hence, we see that in the data as if there is a decline in the land rise. So practically, we have two ways of interpreting this data. And the ground truth at the moment is that we have the Grindavik and the surrounding area have still a hazard and a risk associated with that hazard due to falling in the cracks which exist due to these fault lines. There is not... Uh, enough uh, magma accumulated in the sword singing magma reservoir in the, under that area to actually have an eruption in the November. November eruption most likely is ruled out. What I see is that we will have eruption probably if this continues the way that it is and it is continuing by next week, we, we can say that magma accumulation is really reduced or is it the GPS data satellites making a error. If that is the GPS data due to the satellites showing the error, we may actually expect the magma accumulation rise and have an eruption in December, probably even in the uh, Christmas time. Let's wait and see.